what is up y'all we're back in disney dreamlight valley it is wednesday so we're gonna do the things it's refresh day i believe the inside out event is over i didn't see them say anything about that but i did see them post on somebody's comment a couple days ago on x they asked about the event and then they said that you will be able to get the statue through regular gameplay memories which is kind of funny because we know how hard it is to complete a memory anyways so if you haven't finished that's okay which also means they're not going to repeat it because they repeated the easter events they repeated the christmas events they repeated the halloween events because they're achievements or whatever but you know what I mean. And there's also a current event right now, the Festival of Foolishness. I guess it's an annual one. I don't remember or recall anything about it last year, but they posted it yesterday and I went and checked it out. And unfortunately it is not in the group. It's not in game. It's just reading a bunch of stuff. It's an interactive multiple choice kind of thing and i managed to get six of the different codes and i didn't read i didn't read it it was super long and if y'all ever see me play i do read everything but this was literally just reading it's hard for me to focus on i need you know the lights and sounds and stuff to keep my attention but just in case you haven't seen someone else talk about it or you're not on the social media they did put out these codes but the items are pretty basic but the items that they give are pretty basic besides the moonstones one do you see this guy he's behind me at this time because he is the troublemaker do you want down you comfortable okay anyways they're good until august 16 2024 there are no decor items but there is 300 moonstones between the two I was looking for Ursula this morning for my dream snap, but Steppel was asleep and now she's here. Oh, and by the way, they need to fix this box. This box? This box right here. I guess it's only on PlayStation that they screwed it up. But I was trying to do my dream snap last minute as per usual. See, look, that would have been a great picture. But the box is throwing the whole thing off because, you know, as we are serious about dream snaps here on this channel, I have to see that corner because I need to know how much emptiness I have in my foreground. So it's really pissing me off. If it's not the items disappearing, I can't see where I place the items. So yeah, that's on a slide note, but let's go ahead and redeem these codes. I was trying to go ahead and do all these codes, but mine are doing an invalid rejection and I don't want to restart the game several times and focus on that. Nothing was too impressive, honestly, if you ask me. And of course, there's some uh, comments here. They're the same old stuff. Xeno Bia Frost says there's a glitch with your monkeys for a rift in time. They just continue running away until they disappear. Please fix. I'm sure one monkey because he always is in that spot up in the top of the ruins and I can't catch him. I can't catch him. And they just said we're aware of this issue and apologize for the inconvenience. If you like to keep up with our progress, you can do so on Trello. I'm on their Trello. I check it from time to time. It's a mess, honestly. Oh, this one, Caitlin Joy. This was fun. I loved reading Choose How the Story Goes books in elementary school. I did, but that only really makes me think of Goosebumps. Did you read those Goosebumps? I have one about like a knight in a castle. But yeah, I, I did like those Choose the Story. Vicky, I can't finish the Milan quest because my game breaks every time I try and place a shadow box. That's messed up. That's really messed up and disappointing. It's like, what, the third week since the update? There's only 30 days left in the star path and there's still all these same problems. 
this one from Disney. This was so cute. Last time, I would prefer to play this event in game as it's just mainly talking to characters. I understand it's to advertise Discord, but a lot of people will be missing out on the fun and fantastic rewards as some people won't have Discord and would prefer to have their gameplay in game. Again, they should uh, add it, you know like in-game message instead of just doing social media. I guess they're really trying to get all the community to get their social media numbers up. I don't know. I thought this one was interesting. J cakes, too many events back to back. Anyone who is new to the game and trying to just unlock characters has to, has gotta be overwhelmed beyond belief. That's a really different outlook on the game because a lot of people obviously, um, I guess there's like two groups, like the newbies and the people who have played from the beginning. I feel like there's enough to do, but I do know some people that are like hardcore daily players, I guess, and do have huge stockpiles. And besides like dream snaps, star path events and updates, they don't have anything else to do in game. But I feel like between the touch of magic, now the new Remy's quest thing, Daisy's boutique, multiplayer, uh, screwed shopping daily, dream snap voting, and dream snap doing and decorating. Ah, uh, that's a lot for me. So it just depends on, you know, how much time and how much you're into the game. But I could see why you would get overwhelmed, especially because they always say stuff is like limited, limited time, limited time, and you don't want to miss out on stuff. That's part of the fun. And Fern, nobody wants this corny stuff. We want you to fix your game and communicate better with players. Yes, well spoken as always. For instance, Dolphin Queen, my memories are still broke. What happened to this so-called fix? That's disappointing. That's disappointing. Pretty whack. Oh, see, here's another one. Sugar cookie. The Inside Out Mania one is still doing this. Y'all should fix things before doing yet another event. Yes, I agree. There's so many things that have been broken forever, especially right now. I didn't have a lot of time to decorate before, and I'm definitely not doing more decorating since the last update because the changes they have made to how you decorate plus the stupid box on the PlayStation where you can't see the full screen. It's very annoying. Oh, and here we go. Alexandria Slater. Even though I picked anxiety, the game is giving me a little anxiety myself. The new event that's out, I don't know if it's happening for others, but I have all nine of the redemption codes and I kept getting a redemption error number three. Like I can't claim any of the prizes. I play on PS5. What's up, PlayStation Pete? Me too. Me too. I was only able to claim a few of them. So annoying. It's not just you. It's not just you. It's everyone and everything all the time. God, why does it have to be so complicated? Gosh, why is everything so annoying? Why is everything so complicated? So annoying. I've been trying for days to complete the memory that spawned in Goofy Mickey's Merlin's house. I have one left to find, but it's only turning into coins. And now the event is ending. It's so frustrating. It's just so frustrating. Let's not forget about how the status, the current status of the game, Korean Kitty, please fix your game. I agree. I agree with that sentiment exactly. Fix ba Daisy's Boutique. Is the Inside Out event over? I didn't manage to get the... Oh no. I think they're still going to be able to get it just based on the comment I read. But why don't they like communicate things? If anything, they should have said they were advancing, extending it just because of how messed up it was. That's so annoying.
But yeah, it seems as per usual, the current events are the same. There are lots of errors, lots of problems, and lots of things are annoying and unpleasant. I might read some of that, but it's like, I don't know. It was a lot. And I agree, it would have been nice if it was just like a little gameplay. Like, I would have rather had one of their like little scenes where they do the back and forth, like talk, talk, talk. And just a few selections for that, but I guess, you know, there's already more than enough issues with the game. They don't need to try to add anything else. But I do believe the Memory Mania, you can still get the stuff because it's just added to part of the regular gameplay. But as per the updated memories, they fixed it. I get a few more memories, I think. But I know those memories take time, but it makes sense because not everything in the game is supposed to be able to be completed in just a day. So, you know, in it for the long run. We're in it for the long run. And let's take a look at the premium shop. The premium shop, that's another thing that's going on. Besides all the leaks and all the weirdness, I know from last week's or a few days ago they posted Buzz's back and the leaks showed all the Toy Story stuff. Owl's Toy Barn, Star Adventure Stand. I do like the stand. Ooh, I am getting something after all. Parade Lion Costume. I didn't know this came today. I like this. I'm gonna wear this around. But I have so many clothing. But this is very unique and cool and it's a one piece, I guess, which is fine. I like it. I'm definitely going to check that out. These pieces though, these Toy Story items are really cool for a Toy Story area, but until they increase the item limit, I don't know. Between the item limit not getting increased, um, the mechanics of decorating and photos being whack off. This Buzz, he was a um, star path, so unfortunately. I have these fireworks. Small pink rings. People are outraged about that and these rides. Dumbo, that was a star path return. Slinky Dog, I do like Slinky Dog, but right now rides are broken. Rides don't even work properly. Fireworks, fireworks are definitely nice by. You can use them for dream snap accents and they're just cute. It'd be nice if they would just stay turned on constantly animated but you know but anyway sorry like i was saying between the rising cost of moonstones between the cost of moonstones the broken mechanics in the game and now they had a few packs bundles on sale I'd probably be more likely the frugal person in me that doesn't buy moonstones and sometimes doesn't hit the 4,000. I'll be more likely to hang on to some of that stuff and hope that it goes on sale since apparently they do sales now. But enough of that. Enough of that. What is the dream snap? I bet it's not related to the premium shop, is it? Maybe I'm wrong. Oh. Dream Snap annual celebration. Okay, they got their Dream Snap statue, arches, vanilla pea. Oh, and they're wearing the Dream Snap outfit that I don't like. I don't like. Speaking of Dream Snaps, what about this uh, pixel dust that they're not even, I'm still getting each week, but it's not going up. Come on. I guess the annual celebration is a festival of fools, but it doesn't even say that here anywhere, but Vanellope is the center of the festival. And too, when I was thinking Festival of Fools, I was like, shouldn't it be like an April? Like April Fools? Anyways, decor challenge, my favorite. It's the one year anniversary of Dream Snaps. Oh, yay, one year. I love Dream Snaps. My one year anniversary of doing videos will be soon. I started in the September update. I started trying to do videos when Dream Snaps came out, but when I actually started doing the weekly videos, that was in September, the Beauty and the Beast update and my birthday. 
So I guess it's actually officially one year Dream Snap anniversary. Cool. Host a grand party to celebrate the occasion with any, with as many villagers as possible. Balloons, decorations, fireworks, and your own unique style. Is that a little shade being thrown at the people that lock all their characters out of the Dream Snaps? Put characters in your Dream Snaps. It's just better that way. This is cute. I like that it's celebration. I like that it's dream snaps. Happy anniversary dream snaps. My fave. Mandatory, modern and playful. Bonus, simple and familiar. I think these should be cute and fun. And a lot of people probably already have nice areas that they can easily work. And they did. They put the fireworks. The fireworks are back there. Very nice. I think I'm going to like this theme. And I love dream snaps. It's unfortunate that the the um, outfit, I don't like that outfit at all. Let me know if you rock the dream snap outfit. I've never worn any of it. Not even, I didn't even put it on when I got it. I was just like, yay, I collected it. Another thing. Instead of doing the festival of fools, they should have promoted their dream snaps through some of the best dream snaps out there that people have gotten. Cause you know, they have all the number ones. I would have liked to see something more about this. I didn't even know that it's the one year anniversary of dream snaps. That's something that's more important than, I agree, too many events. They're just like boom, boom, boom. But they're just skimming over this one, just like they did the one year anniversary of the game. But we're not gonna talk about that. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and check on my dream snap and see how I did. I never know anymore. I would like 4,000, of course. Ooh, 1,500. That was for my art gallery. I didn't really put in a lot of work for that one, but I will take them. I will take the moonstones. Okay. Did I get star coin for that? Ooh, I put it on. I didn't even mean to put it on. Cute. I like it. It makes it though where it's like, um, I could be anybody. It could be anybody under there. It might not even be me. And it looks like it made me like super skinny. I look snatched as a dragon. Hmm. I wonder if that's just the costume, if they only did it in one size. I know ah, that they have that problem in Touch of Magic from it not translating to other size avatars. That's whack too. So many whack things in the game. Uh, they really should focus on the game instead of the stuff. Granted, this is a cool outfit. Whoop. I really do like it. It's very nice. It's very nice. Did I need it? No. Did I want it? Yeah. Would I pay real money for any of the current stuff that is in the premium shop? No, I don't think so. I feel like they put out almost too much stuff because of the decorating issues as well as the limited item count. I don't feel like I need so much stuff. The FOMO's kind of not really getting too many as much. So much stuff that's like broken and grindy that the decorating is not as fun for me. And that's sad to say because it is a decorating game. It is a decorating game. And I did like all the new stuff. The new stuff is cool. New characters are new. But just like fix the game and stop messing with stuff that people don't care about and don't put so much focus into events if they're gonna suck. But I'm glad it's Dream Snap anniversary. I can't believe they didn't hype that up. Why didn't they hype that up? Not even a little post. They wanted to hype up the Toy Story stuff. The Toy Story stuff should have been sold back in the last Star Path or something. It's just like they're not even, there's no uh, cohesive. It's like there's no like thought besides let's just put this stuff out and people will buy the stuff and then we will get the moonstones, which is fine. It's fine. Just improve the game a little, but this is cool. This is one of the cooler things they have put out. I would like to see more outrageous stuff like that because this is like a fantasy make-believe game. 
but very nice and this is on theme this one goes along with everything that's going on and it's cool i'm gonna wear this until obviously i'm gonna have to change for dream snaps and then i'll probably forget about it just like my many many onesies that i also love when they first come out i know some people need more stuff some people need more space and a lot of people just want the game to be fixed that's enough of that. I'm looking forward to the dream snap voting this week with the magic. I feel like we're going to see some spooky, cute, witchy things for the uh, ghouls out there. It's spooky season, y'all. I mean, this is like the time uh, code orange. I've been seeing some cute Halloween clothing being placed out. You know, capitalism. It's coming the busy season for the holidays. Let me know, how'd you do on your dream snap? What was your favorite thing from the premium shop? Did you even buy anything from the premium shop? I know some people literally buy it out every single week, but it seems like to me, the stuff is getting a little uh, more quantity over quality. You know, just saying. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Especially those of you that like, subscribe, and comment. I had a lot of fun with this video. I finally finished the star path. Done with all the quests. And now it's just the waiting game. Prepping for the next one and trying to decorate and get my dream snaps done in a timely manner. So, you know. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time. Bye.